It took us a while to get pregnant, and we knew we were going to have twins very early on. It was exciting. Mac actually spoke first. But then we noticed that his speech wasn't progressing like Rhett's was. Happy. Birthday. Mindy. We actually called Mac the observer out of the two of them, but truthfully, I just, I, I don't think he heard anything. We had his hearing tested, and that's when we found out that he was profoundly deaf. I called that night and, you know, started at CID the following morning. Hey, hey Mac. Oh. There you go. Hi, you. They were testing and they noticed a progressive loss, and that's when they said that he's gonna need a cochlear implant. Here he was, his whole world was kind of going away and we didn't, we didn't know that. I had a lot of guilt about that. I called the parent educator probably three times right before his cochlear surgery, asking, is he gonna sound like a robot? I would say that was my first fear. Being able to continue schooling with Rhett was my second fear. I think my biggest fear, how is he gonna be treated by others? We've not known anyone else that's had devices as on a, on a child, so, you know, how are other kids gonna treat him? CID allowed my hearing child to come with. It was never just Mac school, and a school for someone like Mac, it was just a school. Just as Mac was, was catching up, Rhett was also excelling. Every teacher there has a master's or greater, and the classroom size is, you know, five or six students. How does a rattlesnake warn you? What is rattlesnake? He started in the toddler program at two, and they mainstreamed after first grade, so they were, you know, really there for four and a half years. I was anticipating graduation from the get-go, and it made me sad. I didn't want to leave. I was worried if he was ready, even though they were telling me he was ready. You know, how is he going to be accepted? Graduation day was very much a proud moment, but also bittersweet. I was the second one that got to talk. I was so nervous when I went talking. Lions, back in the I am five years old. When I grow up, I will be able to I had never had a student with a cochlear implant before. We did arrange for CID to come before school started, so they got to see the devices, um, see how they work, trained on how to use them and troubleshoot them. And then they actually came again when school started and spoke to the whole class, what to expect, and that they didn't need to treat Mac any differently. The teacher set the classroom up so that he could see his, his uh, classmates. The teacher wore the microphone so that he could hear her. Mac and was really prepared well to enter into a regular classroom. When we have a student that comes from CID, uh, we know that, that they're ready to come to us. When he needed help, he asked for it. He took my criticism. I think that's one thing that CID really starts to prepare their students for when they're getting ready to mainstream is how to self-advocate. Can you help me? Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you. Mac is doing really well in his new environment. Yeah! Recess was, was certainly his favorite time of day initially, and, and I think it probably still is, like most kids his age. He's very silly. I like to play tag with my friends, and I like to swing. I think Mackin has a lot of friends. In school, my grades are really good. He's done so well that even his therapist now is saying that he's where he needs to be. I actually remember sitting at CID in an office not knowing how we were going to pay for this and knowing that we had to, that we would be willing to do whatever we could to make sure that he attended the school and they assured me that that was not going to be an issue. You know, no child is turned away and the money that's being raised is going to allow students to come here that normally couldn't afford it. We are forever indebted. We'll continue to do whatever we can for CID. They gave Mac the gift of communication. And there's no price tag on that.
birthday. To you. I do. Happy birthday. I got birthday. To you. To you. To you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to you. See, I get rock.